right, let's put it back together. I took it apart because I had all that uh, Windex and everything was really wet inside. And so I wanted to uh, get that dried out. I'm just going to coat this real light layer of Ballastol. Really light. Just whatever's on my hands here. All right, I'm going to be careful with that blade. So sharp. This back with the breaker on there. Well, I can't wait to see how, if, how and if it cuts. I think it will. So there's our, there's our 16th. That metal sure cleaned up nice, isn't it? Beautiful. Just beautiful. Love the polish on that. Look at the polish on that blade. Where are you there? You can see it there pretty good. Alright, let's put the handles on here. So, handles turned out nice. Painted up nice. I'm glad I went with the black. That looks nice with the blue. Plus it's all in the original color. That's a long bolt there, isn't it? Feels better. Well, I didn't show you the how the metal turned out, so you can see the see the edges there, polished up real nice. Uh, what you want a little bevel on the toe and on the heel there, which it was it was already there. I don't I don't believe this this plane's been used too much, and also bevels on the sides there. So when I was on the sandpaper, I just really carefully just I'm, I'm over exaggerating here, but just tilted it up and just polished up and maintained those bevels there. But it's a it's a nice flat base, not a lot of pitting in it. It really cleaned up nice, don't you think? pieces all look good. I think it's about time to use it. I don't know about you. Let's adjust uh, let's adjust the blade. We'll prop it up here and get that set and see see how it cuts. I'll bet it hasn't cut for I bet it hasn't shaved wood for a long time. So none of this mounts a hill of beans if it doesn't shave wood properly. So I got a piece of five quarter chalked up here in the vise. Let's see. I'm not a cabinet maker, but I think that that's pretty good. I'll do a I'll do a slow pass here, see if you can see the shavings come up. One more. Beautiful. Just beautiful. Never used one before that, uh, that cut like this.
I didn't know they could. I couldn't be happier. Just couldn't be happier the way this performs. It's just, uh, what a delight. How exciting. You know, another thing that's really, uh, really cool right there is you can see the finish that it left behind there on this five quarter. I would estimate that to be the sm as smooth as a probably 180 sandpaper, maybe even smoother. Um, and I mean, you could, you wouldn't have to just barely just touch that with a, with a 320 and it would be ready uh, for an oil or a finish. It's, I mean, it's just, it is just glass smooth and that's the rough cut and the shavings. Again, I, I don't know what a proper hand plane should be doing with material, but I, I can't help but think that one long continuous strips like this, that that's not a good thing. It's got to be a good thing. What a pleasure. What a pleasure. One more tool for the toolbox, but uh, what a joy it is to, to take something that was essentially just, it was, wasn't working. It, it wouldn't have really worked and, and it didn't cost anything to put this in. Are there better planes? Yeah, of course there are, but is this going to suffice for what most of us need? That definitely will for what I need. I, I just, I don't need, I'm not building pianos. Um, I, I just couldn't be happier. I, I'll, uh, I'm going to be looking for a smaller one. Maybe I'd like to have maybe a number five. I think it, I think that maybe the number five is a little bit shorter. I don't think it has quite that, that extra tail on there. Um, and then maybe a couple smaller ones. I'll keep my eyes open for those at, uh, uh, at some sales I go to. And I'd like to restore a couple more. Have four or five of them. That'd be pretty nice. But sure turned out good, didn't it? Just beautiful. Now I've got to learn how to use it. I don't know if I have it even have it set up right, but uh, I would imagine for storing it, we want to uh, back this in here, park that blade up into the cast iron. It makes sense to me, and lock that in there. And now that's going to be safe in there because that blade is really, really sharp, and we wouldn't want to drop it at anything. All right, well, thanks for watching. What a fun project this was, something that all of you could do. And uh, how many, most of us have these old planes have been handed down to us. And just a little bit of work, just a half an afternoon, and you can, you can have it working like this one does. So in the meantime, I've got some fun videos for you. On the top lat left is the worst axe I've ever used. More of that coming soon. Top right is a test between the... Fiskers splitting axe and a traditional splitting maul and how that came out. Bottom left uh, was uh, is an interesting video. It was a um, very good lesson to me um, about how easy it is to get taken away with the cares of this world and not able to listen to the still small voice of God. Uh, a very strong lesson given to me by my son. And on the bottom right is how to make your own chainsaw chains, how to link them together without any special tools whatsoever. You can do this and save about 50% or, or more on constructing your own chainsaw chains. Simple, easy uh, process that most guys can do themselves. So thanks for watching. If you take a moment to click the thumbs up, I'd appreciate it. We're getting a beautiful snowfall today, and we'll see you guys on the next video. Mm -hmm.